Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know about this epic fantasy. And this is my latest tutorial. This is how to make a phenakistoscope. You're like, what? Phenakistoscope is um, something invented in 1851 by a gentleman named J Joseph Plateau. And it's a magic disc sometimes it's referred to. But this is what it is. What happens is, see these slots? You look at this in a mirror, and you spin it. And those slots cause it to become an animation. So each frame is blended together to make an animation. Let me show you a better example. Here's a disc made for us, and it's, this is in the template, by Andy. He's an artist who does a lot of uh, various artwork. So he made this for us. Um, and what it is, it's a fairy who's flying, and her wings are in a different position in every disc. So when you spin this, and you look at it, she's flying. Kind of cool. Give Andy a thumbs up for this uh, nice uh, animation he made for us. That's how it works. I give you the template. I give you everything you need, including a blank disc, so you can draw your own animations. Uh, thank you very much. Let's launch right into it. Let's launch right into how to make a phenakistoscope. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and trebuchets, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. StormTheCastle.com. Let's make something. All right, first let's take a look at the uh, phenakistoscope in action. Here's the um, flying ferry. Kind of cool. See that? Um, if you're making something, your own animation here, try to keep it simple and keep the lights, keep the lines bold so you can see it well. And here's the bouncing ball. See, nice and bold, easy to see. And um, light it up real well when you're watching it. I mean, light up the actual, the actual animation. Try to get some good light on that. It'll make a difference in how well you can see it. Keeping those slots... Nice and even and nice and clean will help with this, too. So let's get to it. Um, I have the packet and the template. I have the template with all the stuff in it. You can start out by making the, the um, uh, my version first. Cut out yourself a disc. And then um, glue it down with uh, glue or glue stick to something um, stiff like a poster board or a cereal box cardboard. This way it'll spin evenly. It won't be floppy. And then cut out those dis those slots and take your time with this. Make them as neat as you can get them and nice and even. It makes a big difference. So now let's make the handle. Place those handle parts on handle parts on uh, uh, foam board. I'm using black foam board. You can use white foam board. It doesn't really matter. And you can use cardboard for this project too. Press down hard on them like this, drawing over them because that causes an indent in the foam board or the cardboard. And then you can remove those, and you can see the indent, and then trace it out like this. See that? I'll make two of each of these pieces. And this is to make the small version of the phenakistoscope. See, you end up with four pieces like this. And then cut them all out. Now, I also give you the larger version. If you want to do the flying fairy animation, you need the larger version uh, phenakistoscope. And that's in the template. But let's glue it all together. Easy assembly. This is an easy project. Fun and easy project. You put a Christmas tree, then you put a slingshot. I call that piece the slingshot. Put another slingshot piece on top of that. And then put the final Christmas tree on. I call that the Christmas tree or the evergreen tree. There you go. It's pretty much built. Straighten it out and clean it up, however you like. Paint it, put tape on it, and then put a, push a toothpick through the end like this. To both pieces, and then appears the center of the disc, the magic disc, and install it. And your phenakistoscope is done. Simple as that. Now you do this with my templates that I give you in the packet. And remember... If you want to do the flying fairy, you have to use the other out Christmas tree parts, the larger ones. Check it to make sure it's smooth. Bend the disc a little bit to straighten it out. Make sure it's nice and smooth. You don't want to get caught on anything. And then put it in a mirror like this with the animation facing away from you. And look through those slots and you will see the animation. Use plenty of light. So, I give you a blank too. If you want to draw your own animation like this, you draw a different frame in each area. To cause the animation. I don't know, do a, a bouncing ball, do a rotating disc, do a spiral that opens and closes. Use your imagination. And let's take a look at um, 
Then you would do the same process with this, cut it out. Let's take a look at the work Andy did. First, he made, he drew out his first um, anime, his first frame of his animation. Right, like this. This is our concept. And then he used the, the light box to draw the consecutive frames. Now, in every image, is a little bit different than the previous one, so you can flip it up and take a look, see how it changes. See, that's a typical animation technique. You continue to do this for the different wing patterns, and you end up with 12 different animations from start to finish, just like that. And that's it. And then we can go ahead and use that. Um, then I, we, so he sized it down so it could fit in our disc, and you get yourself an animation. Fun little project. If you make this project, send me a picture. Um, congratulations, first of all, but send me a picture, and I will send you a certificate of contribution. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.